So my name is Cal and I'm building a startup completely from scratch. The idea? A dating app where you actually talk. That's about all I can reveal for now though. My goal is to document every single line of code written from start to finish. The successes and the struggles. As authentically as possible. I wish the people that built Tinder had a series like this and my hope is that one day my app will become an actual competitor to Tinder. So thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy it. Alright, today I'm doing dips instead of pull-ups. I'm actually really excited to get started today because I feel like we're close to getting somewhere with this. I don't know if I should rewrite the whole thing. I'm sort of curious about what it would actually take to rewrite it and uh, to write my own REST API, Dynamo or Mongo, something like that database. Because I feel like everything that I need to do, it just takes a really long time and most of the time it's just debugging so most of the time i just spend like trying to figure out okay well how does amplify or lambda or the api gateway like how do they actually want me to interact with it from the client side so there's too many unknown variables that i don't understand and maybe i could understand it if i spent some time to try to learn it but i just feel like the effort that it would probably take to learn all this stuff i feel like that is going to be way more than just writing it myself even though it feels like it would be easier to just write it myself i have the doubt in the back of my head that says that well there's probably a reason why this exists in the first place that reason is probably that it's actually easier at the end of the day and when you don't know stuff like this then maybe we can actually ask someone who might know so we're gonna do a new chat with grok i trust grok more with some things <sighs> okay it seems like building out my own rest api might not be necessary superbase might actually be the way to go which i actually think one of you guys suggested way back and i should have listened yeah sam brd i think i'm pretty sure you suggested that i should look into superbase but i didn't i actually used superbase for the extra log workout tracking app uh, that i made in lovable so i have used that but i've used it with another ai thing which is like lovable which basically took care of all the setup for me so i might be biased in that i think that it's going to be easy to do that but i think the way to do, do it is actually to transfer over to superbase because it's not completely unreasonable that i'm spending a lot of time debugging because like there is a lot of complexity to having these things work but i also think that some of the stuff should be very easy just loading a table from the database like every time i try to do that every time there's just a new error or something new that pops up or it just doesn't work and there's no real easy way i feel like to guarantee that like okay this is how you load a table from aws if we instead move towards less complexity something that I understand a little bit better, then we'll also move towards something that Grok and ChatGPT will understand better, which means that our combined like level will maybe be better and I will better understand the fixes that ChatGPT and Grok create because I understand the REST API and Python and all that stuff better than I understand AWS. I think I'm gonna save myself future headaches by taking on a current headache, which is to swap all this stuff over to Super base, I think. Okay, so let's just do that. I'm deciding right now, let's do it. We have an hour. Let's see what we can get done. All right, this will be a little bit interesting. I just rewrote everything for the logging stuff to be using Superbase. Yeah. Okay, I don't really know why we ended up here, but we did. So let's try to set the name, Cal. Errors I auth plugin has not been added to Amplify. What we want is we want to have a sign up flow or login 
flow of some kind. I thought that that might have already gotten created, but it hadn't. All right, uh, I'm trying to get the sign up thing to work because Grok just redesigns the whole page for me without me asking for it. But really what I want to do is just see, can we get this to work? Can we sign up a new user? I think we should be able to. I've added a table to the database in Superbase and this is the table. So user ID, name, age, gender, blah, blah, blah. That all seems to work. Now we just need to see, can we sign up as a user? That's all that we need to do. And after we can get that done, then the rest should probably be pretty simple because it's just sign up and do all that stuff like matches, phone calls, even though that's been very difficult with Amplify, I think this is going to be way easier with Superbase. And I have quite high hopes for that because as you can see, we can have functions here, we can have triggers and these functions can be running like exactly the same way that we had it with AWS, but just on Superbase and easier. I, I think this should work. My goal for today is just to be able to have a user that is able to sign up to the app. And that's all that I want to achieve. And that means that we want to be able to add users to the Superbase database. So right now the Google location thing was the thing that didn't work. So we seem to be able to zoom in and stuff. When we press continu continue, nothing happens. So we're going to have to ask it. All right, I'm not really sure what has happened here, but somehow it seems like I switched chat. And that must be a bug in Grok or something. I don't know what happened, but it just literally switched because I was like having this conversation with it, trying to ask it to change other files. And then it said like, well, you haven't sh shared those files, so I can't, I don't, I'll have to assume what those files contain. But I knew I wrote this whole message with like tons of different files in it. And it gave me the response where it rewrote all of these files. This is like a, one of those Truman Show moments where I was like, what the frick is going on? Because this is the message that I sent or I add stuff to it and I got the response. I've literally pasted in f these files and now all of a sudden that is gone. I don't see it anywhere and I don't know what happened. What the hell? I guess I'll have to redo it. All right, and it, it seems like it now allows us to sign up. So we can sign up. We got an error for the location. So that's good, I think. Hello world. And then finish. Error saving profile, except no authenticated user found. So now we can start debugging why the saving of the user didn't work. But at least we have the sign up flow. It looks the way that it looked before, but now it's using Superbase, I think. Now we can start debugging this. All right, so we actually got a user now when signing up or when opening the app. I just added the, the email and the password. So now we're gonna see what happens if we do name, finish exception no authenticated user found gemini had some sort of like offer so you could get one month for free i think or maybe i paid for one month because it wasn't that expensive i don't quite remember but that means that i just remembered that i have gemini 2.5 i've heard that it's supposed to be really good at coding and I haven't used it in the past so after like running into a few things with Grok I realized that well let's just try Gemini because I saw something somewhere where someone said that like Gemini is supposed to be really good we're trying it out now just to see if it can solve the problem I just gave it like all of the files almost and uh, all right now let's just run that to see what the change is actually if it knows what it's doing All right, we finally got a user in the database with the information. So woman, 20 years old, uh, gender is woman, interested in men, location set, age preference, just a standard, uh, about me, nothing, radius 100, is available, true, online, true, blah, blah, blah. 
and we have a profile picture. So we'll see, can we actually see that profile picture? Yeah, we can see the profile picture, that's good. I think Gemini is actually a good idea just because I'm using Flutter and Flutter is a Google creation. Now that doesn't have to mean anything because it doesn't mean that Google has trained Gemini on Flutter stuff, but of all of the AI models that are out there, I think Gemini would probably have the highest probability of being good at Flutter. Now we do get an error here, but this error is just something to do with the uh, Amplify category default plugin. It's basically that we're using Amplify still, I think, because I haven't cleaned out all of the Amplify stuff yet. And that's why we get this infinite progress bar, but we were able to add the user to the database. We're able to sign up now and also add information about our user to the database. So we're making progress and I think we're making progress pretty quickly compared to what it was like with Amplify. I am noticing that this is way easier. Literally to add stuff to the database, you can just write SQL queries here. I don't know SQL well enough to say that this is exactly what you would do in SQL, but I pretty sure because it's like an SQL editor. So I'm pretty sure that all of this is just pure SQL and there's nothing like super base specific, uh, which is really, really, really good. And I'm super happy about that because it just, I think all of these AI models understand SQL way better than they understand Amplify. So debugging all that stuff is just gonna be way easier, I think. So yeah, the next thing is gonna be just get back to the homepage here and then, uh, setting up the call, being able to match users, actually creating a function within Superbase, which you're also supposed to be able to do. So that I think is what we're gonna do in the next video. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.